So uh, I'm a professor at Borough Manhattan Community College and uh, we're located, it's not moving. Okay, we're located in Lower Manhattan and this is a picture of my college taken from the Hudson River. And uh, we have um, more than 27,000 students. Uh, we're a very big uh, community college. I think we're the biggest uh, uh, college in the CUNY system. And our students are very diverse. They come from over 145 countries. Uh, our math department is uh, fairly large. There's over 75 full-time uh, professors in our uh, math department. And again, here's a picture of where we're located in Lower Manhattan, and we're right by uh, we're right by where the World Trade Center used to be. And when the World Trade Center was attacked and fell down, part of it fell on our campus and knocked down one of our buildings. And uh, the, the uh, on the right side of the screen, you see a picture taken from the uh, outside the, the window of one of our classrooms, and that's the World Trade Center site. Now it's now it's been rebuilt as the um, as the Freedom Tower. And uh, on the right over here, you see a picture taken from the uh, steps of uh, my, my college of the Freedom Tower on 9-11, 2017. They have like a, a light memorial. It's very pretty actually. All right, so um, at uh, BMCC, there's a lot of undergraduate research programs. There's the, what's called the BMCC Foundation Fund for Undergraduate Research. Uh, that pays uh, students, I don't know, 500 or thousand dollars for their for a semester long research program with a professor. Um, there's something called C-STEP. Um, there's something called the CUNY Research Scholars Program, which is very nice. It pays the professors a thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars, and it pays the student about five thousand dollars or six thousand dollars for a year long uh, research experience where they work with a professor. I've been in that program for the past, I guess, four years or five years. It's, it's really nice. You have uh, the LSAM program, which is um, uh, more focused on um, getting minority participation. Um, also, uh, BMCC is very successful at uh, winning a large number of grants to uh, support student research. Um, there's the uh, MSIP RISE grant, which I was involved in. Uh, we also have a program for high school students. Um, high school step, which uh, has uh, high school students come uh, to our college and they do research. Uh, we're right down the block from Stuyvesant High School, which is one of the two premier high schools in the uh, in in New York City. Um, and we have a lot of very famous alum not we, but Stuyvesant has a lot of famous alumni, um, Nobel Prize winners, things like that. Um, I think the new science director or the new science member of the cabinet, Lander, he's a graduate of uh, Stuyvesant. So their students are really, really, really smart. Um, I'm not sure, I'll, I'll get to the questions after the, uh, the, the talk, um, uh, Hayden. I'm not sure, I'm not sure the answer to the, your question though, okay. And um, I worked with one of the students from Stuyvesant. This was this, this girl, and she was just a sophomore, and she was already taking advanced calculus. She's a, a sophomore in high school, so that 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 tells you the, the level of the the, uh, the quality of their students. They're really good. Um, and uh, we also at, at BMCC, we also have very spectacular students. Uh, we have twenty seven thousand students. Um, some of them are uh, very, very academically inclined and uh, really, really quite, um, uh, just quite brilliant and strong, okay. Um, uh, a lot of the other students uh, are maybe academically a little bit weaker. Um, so we, we run the spectrum from uh, students needing a lot of remediation to students who are um, just really, really strong. One of my favorite stories is uh, this, uh, this student from China and I saw her and she's really good. And so I asked her, oh, why did you go to uh, BMCC? Well, she says, oh, it was a two-year college. I figured, I, I figured that we would be doing twice as much work and I could graduate twice as quickly. She didn't realize it was just a two-year program um, and then there'll be two more years. Okay, and then there's the BMCC Honors Program. That's where students work on a uh, sort of a, a project with a uh, professor that they're taking a class with. So if you're teaching, say, calculus, you might give them a calculus project to work on. And at the end of the semester, they uh, do a presentation in front of faculty members on the work that they've been doing. Um, I've also been involved in that forever. It's a really nice program. 
and I'm not moving. Okay, so um, we, we got a lot of grants. Uh, we won a, a million dollar NSF grant for STEM education. And uh, we've also won a lot of grants for uh, just regular pure, pure research. So we do, we, we do very well in, in that department. Um, can you hear this okay? Or is the sound quality poor of this little, of the music? Can you hear that? It's good, it's good. Okay, it's good, you sure, all right. If, okay, this is a, a short little uh, film of our um, uh, annual research symposium where we have students who are doing research and they make their presentations and they give uh, poster presentations. So it's about a, a minute or two and it's kind of interesting. You'll get a sense of the students. This is an event that involves the entire BMCC community. All of our students are involved to come see the work that the students have done. The researchers have done all of our faculty involved. We have people judging the events from all over the college. It is probably one of the largest events at the college and is definitely a community building event at BMCC. And I'm glad today my three students are presenting three different researches um, in the area of biomedical engineering. They try to weld unweldable materials. And I believe that every student should be involved in the research. I arrived at this particular project because I really wanted to do cancer research, cancer research has affected a lot of my family, a lot of my friends, and other people that I knew, so I definitely know I wanted to do cancer research. It's very difficult as an undergraduate to find a faculty member um, in a large institution to train you and to work with you one-on-one -on -one in a laboratory. Um, here we provide the students with the laboratory, we provide the students with the faculty so that they can actually have that research experience that they won't get at a four-year school. The work I'm doing is called the fighting drug addiction with water. In order to do that research, I choose dopamine D3. It's a neurotransmitter inside your brain, uh, which helps you to link with your behaviors, uh, your thirst, your hunger, and which is also to link to your drug abuse. That's what I'm working on. I arrived at this topic because I've been taking math classes at BMCC, and the math press professors um, are wonderful, and they really... Okay, this is uh, Karen Medlin. She's one of my students. Uh, her research that's being featured in this presentation. I shouldn't do with me, but she was a really good student. She took calculus and differential equations with me. And uh, right now she's at the University of Washington getting a PhD in, in applied math, I believe. She was, she was really good. Okay, I'm gonna go on to the next slide. Okay, so um, uh, if you're looking for funding for students, there's a lot of money out there. Uh, you just have to go looking for it. So. Um, uh, one of the places where you can find this, if you go to conferences, very often you have national labs or national organizations, they uh, set up outreach tables and you can just talk to the, uh, the people who are organizing those, um, those funding opportunities. And so I get a lot of uh, email messages um, asking for, uh, if, to um, have students apply for various uh, grants or summer research experiences. Um, so that's always a, a good thing to, to, to get. All right, and um, here's another uh, source of funding for students. It's uh, Center for Undergraduate Research in Math. I don't know if it's, this grant is still active, um, but it was really nice. Um, uh, this, uh, this group of professors from various institutions, they got, a, I believe, an NSF grant uh, for a lot of money. And then what they did is they break that grant up into smaller grants of about $5,000 that they give to uh, individual uh, uh, faculties who are doing research with students. So it's like a, they, they do what's called micro grants and you can apply for that, it's a nice program. And of course, a great resource for ideas and projects is Simeode, but I don't have to sell any of you guys on that, okay? And uh, what is undergraduate research math at a, a two-year college? Okay, so original research and results in deep technical mathematics typically requires a lot of training. That's what PhD programs are for. Um, however, undergraduates at two-year colleges can have the research experience. Uh, for example, open-ended problems with no single correct answer. I don't mean open-ended like deep unsolved problems, but like a, a small easy problem where there's not necessarily a well-defined rigid answer to it. Um, like you could ask, say, open-ended question like, what's a good way to 
um, say, model the growth of bacteria or of a bacteria population. And so there's lots of solutions to it. People have already, you know, obviously solved this problem. But for the students, um, they can model it different ways. And so for them, it's sort of an open-end question where they can sort of think about how's the correct way of going about doing it. Uh, rather than just sort of a standard sort of uh, differential equations problem where, you know, solve this differential equation. It's just open-ended problems are good. And it gives the students the sense of what research is like, where, where you have to sort of think about even what the correct question is or what, how deep you want to go into answering a question. Uh, also, students can read a research article or learn about the professor's ongoing research, and they can help reproduce or explain or help write up results. Uh, maybe make a poster for you, something like that. They can do a small aspect of your, of your research or your research um, uh, work stream. Um, some students can write computer code or they can do data collection and do experiments, things like that. Um, that's, that's, that's good for students. Um, of course, modeling various phenomena, especially tweaking or applying a model. And uh, also the students get exposure to, to grant writing, conference presentation networks. So sometimes just by sort of being around you, if you're, if you're sort of actively doing work or research, the students can just sort of pick up what, what the environment is like, what's involved in it. And also of course, just discussing uh, with, the, with you or uh, their, your research, the students can learn a lot and they can get the experience. So it doesn't have to be that the student's gonna go out there and solve some very, very difficult problem but that they can sort of become sort of part of the sort of the research environment. And sometimes that's just a, a good thing. Um, what are the problems with undergraduate research? Well, first of all, um, how do you choose who's gonna be your RA? Is it based upon the student's GPA, their enthusiasm, knowing the student from previous classes? That's sort of more of a problem from my perspective. I have a lot of students who wanna work with me and um, I don't I have a very short uh, time window for deciding who I'm gonna work with. And so that can be a difficult thing. Um, also, there's always the issue of the research versus classwork versus jobs versus friends. And in other words, students don't have enough time to devote to research very often. Also, your research could be important to you, but maybe not so important to your student. And also the students really typically don't know enough math, even if they're good, they don't usually just don't know that much math. So what takes you a couple of minutes to figure out might take your student half the semester. So you have to be like cognizant of that. And so the important thing is to be realistic. Your RAs are just beginnings. So a good experience is more important than getting good results. So, so it's important that the experience is fun for them, that they enjoy it, that they feel like they're making a contribution and that they are, uh, not so much necessarily that they solve some deep, um, deep problem. It's very important that they don't fail, uh, fail at this because it can really uh, destroy their confidence, okay? And there are lots of benefits. The students usually enjoy it. They learn how to do research, not just book problems. It helps the students find out what they really want to do. Maybe they think they want to be a mathematician and then after doing, doing a little bit of research, they realize they hate it. Um, the experience also sticks with the students. So remember doing your research with you long after they forget everything else. And also the students gain confidence, pride, a chance to show off, and they sometimes get money for it. Also looks great on their CV. Um, the undergraduate research is really also nice for the professor. Um, I always enjoy it. It's really fun for me. It looks good on your CV if you want promotion or something like that. Um, sometimes students will do useful work for the professor and having students is motivating. Also, I always feel proud of my students. I, I just really just like working with them. I, I just feel proud of them. And also, I remember all the students I mentor over the years, every single student I've had, I remember them um, who I've mentored, whereas students in my classes, I, I don't remember them as much. Okay. Um, so most of the students' research problems I uh, supervise involve differential equations. And uh, that's because the students who take differential equations at a two-year college tend to be uh, outstanding and serious and have more mathematical maturity. That's really the main reason. Okay. And uh, here's um, a collection of uh, students that I've done research with or have helped with honors projects. And um, this one's Nanda Malosia, and uh, she did uh, something on runge cutter. And uh, I wrote to the, I keep in touch with my students. And uh, right now she's working for the New York City Office of Actuary, designing and preserving pension plans for city employees. And I wrote to a lot of my students and I said, uh, can you like, uh, this is like years after they've done research with me. 
And I said, could you sort of write something about the research you did or your feelings about the undergraduate research you did with me? And well, this is her response. So she says, I would recommend everyone who has a chance to take that opportunity and to make the best out of it, not only learn more than just what the syllabus covers, but also have a competitive advantage when it comes to applications for graduate programs. So, so they realize that it really helps them in their career. And this is, this is the years after she did the research. Uh, this is Evgeny Goldstein. Um, he was really good. We did a project on the three body problem and um, He's working as a structural engineer for an aircraft company. And uh, this is what he wrote regarding the research experience. Um, I think it is a great way to learn to think out of the box and to apply mathematics discipline to solving the engineering problems. Um, this is Pete Weeks. I really liked him. Um, I, I'd always tell my students it's important to acknowledge everyone you work with. And um, so she made, he made sure to acknowledge that this chain, he took it from his sister who was very, uh, who helped him with the project and held, held the chain for him. He's just a really nice guy. Um, he's working for an engineering company now, uh, building gigantic structures like for ballparks and things like that. Um, this is Gre Gregory Rodriguez. Um, we did uh, ecological models and he just wants, he's a really smart guy, won various uh, awards from uh, mathematical societies. And uh, his real dream is to be a, um, a, to be a teach a mathematics professor teacher. He's just an all around good guy who just loves teaching and is really smart. Uh, Young Wook Choi, he did a, a very elementary project from pre-calculus mathematics in our uh, daily lives. And um, what I remember most about his presentation is that the faculty committee really liked it because they actually understood it. Our faculty committees very often are made up of non-mathematicians and uh, half the time they can't understand what my students are talking about, but they liked his because it was really elementary. And he's just, I just really like this guy, he's very smart. Um, right now he's at Columbia University doing statistics. He's probably graduated from, 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 from um, already. He's, he was a really nice guy, really smart too. Um, these three students, Yeon and Cho, Min Young Hong and Kwang Min Kim, um, they want to do research with me, but um, I didn't have any money at that time. I mean, I had money, but I was supporting other students and um, they just really kept bugging me. And so I eventually did research with them and I asked, you know, as independent, I asked them, well, uh, what are you doing? And um, uh, Min Young Hong, she was working with this professor doing absorption. So I said, let me take a look at the work you're doing. And I said, oh, I could mathematically model that. I spoke to her professor and I ended up doing like three or four years of research on um, using uh, differential equations to model the kinetics of heavy metal absorption onto tea leaves. Okay, and so um, here's Susan Blackburn. She's um, doing black hole, she was doing black hole research after she graduated um, with the uh, uh, European Gravitational Observatory. Um, Gentina Arena, she was uh, building bridges. She helped build the Kosky new Kosciuszko Bridge in, um, uh, in the, on the BQE. Um, yes, and we don't have time, bridge. that's her. She was just really good. And I think I'm running out of time, uh, actually. You, do, yeah. um, how much time do I have left? It's, uh, Hello, how much, time, how much time do I have left? So you passed. I'm, you I'm, passed. I'm, I've run out of time? No more time, it's, you passed your time. Right? Oh my God, let me, let me finish up then real fast. <laughs> so these are some more of my students who are really good that I'm all proud of. Um, um, these are students that I got a publication with. Um, uh, and um, I guess I should go to the end. Um, I guess I guess that's it. I just like my stu students, and I could keep talking about them for hours and hours. And um, all right, so that's some more of my research. All right, so thank you very much for listening to my talk. And if you have any questions, uh, please ask. Also, uh, if you want to get in touch with me, my email is on the screen. And I always like to work with uh, other professors. Um, and to correspond with uh, other professors. Thank you again so much. Again, I apologize for being a, a couple of minutes late. So let's thank our speaker. And it is very exciting and uh, very encouraging working with these uh, two-year stu two students. So mm -hmm. if you have any question before we move to the next, maybe during this break, if you can ask one or two questions to Chris. Mind bring, uh, putting your email at the end in your ch in the chat. That would be really oh, helpful. Oh, okay, sure, I'll do that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Do you have a, a place where you've
collected the your student research where it could be read or reviewed um, yeah. for, for idea purposes? Yeah, you know what? If you go to my website, um, which I'll put on the uh, in the chat, um, I have a list of all the research projects. So um, I just put my email. And then if you just uh, Google um, McCarthy um, BMCC, you'll come to uh, my faculty website at BMCC and I have a big long list of the projects that I've worked on. And if you Google McCarthy um, differential equations, or if you Google um, McCarthy Math 501, you'll come to my, um, different, my, um, my equations for my courses, which has a lot of interesting information. So I have, course, I, have diff I have web pages for differential equations and calculus and so on. And there's a lot of interesting thing in there that I, that I was gonna talk about, but I just ran out of time. Yeah, it's very good actually, very interesting. Yeah. So just one question, uh, okay. how, how, are you, how are you publishing this student uh, research? Are you publishing or what are the opportunities and? Oh, you mean how do I let my students know about it? No, no, publish their work. Oh, uh, so um, for example, in Primus is a good place to publish uh, student research um, or, or projects that are maybe not at the level of like a, a cutting edge journal. I mean, it's a good journal, but it's more directed towards undergraduate um, uh, math education or mathematics. And so that's a good place. Um, also uh, another place that's good to uh, publish is the uh, Journal of Mathematics and Technology. And it's, a, uh, it's, it's an open, it's open uh, access, and, uh, but it's not a scam because you don't have to pay to publish your work in there. And uh, it's, it's really nice. They have a lot of um, uh, uh, projects in there and a lot of uh, mathematics projects that are sort of at the level that an undergraduate might work on. So that's a really wonderful uh, uh, um, source. source. Is, I, I, I like them a lot. And I, I once published something in there and I ended up getting contacted by some uh, students from, I think the Philippines, or I think it was the Philippines. And I ended up having like a year long correspondence with them about the, the research that I had done. It was on the, the research I'd done was on um, uh, solving the ballot problem in combinatorics and probability using a sort of a new technique to solve it. And they got interested in that for some reason. So I had this very long uh, uh, correspondence with them, which was, was really nice.